All right, what is up everyone? My name is Chris and today I'm gonna to be um, doing a very, very old game review. Uh, this is from 20 years ago, 2000. Game four of the semifinals, Flyers Penguins in 2000. The eight period, uh, five overtime game, whatever you wanna call it. This was a very long game and ABC Philly, they had a post today uh, that they were doing Flyers. Now usually when they would do the NHL 20 Sims, they would be on Thursday. So they actually had the an NHL 20 Sim and it was the last one. Um, and I didn't realize that until I actually put it on at like 7.45 that it was the last one. So I would have done a video on it if I actually saw it. But at this point, I'm not even going to do one on it. So I figured I would do a uh, game review on this five overtime game back from 2000. And honestly, it, it was a crazy game. There was a lot of things that happened. Um, I mean, the Flyers had 72 shots on goal at the, at one point at the five overtime mark. Uh, Pittsburgh had around, had, I believe, 58 to be exact. They had around 60. And, and it's funny because a game that's, that it's one game that's basically almost three games. And you didn't even get a team that had 100 shots. So it's like, it's so tight checking. Um, there's a lot of things early. I mean, go, going into this series, uh, the Flyers lost the first two games in Philadelphia. They had home ice, home ice advantage. They won game three in overtime. Uh, and to be honest, this was the game that the Flyers had to win, and if they lost it, it would have been bad for them going back to Philadelphia, down down 3-1 to one in the series, but they ended up winning this game in overtime, and then winning the next two to move on to the third round. Uh, so a couple players here that you may remember, most of you probably remember them, um, a lot of them are guys that, you know, it's, it's crazy how some of these guys were on this team and, and, and still played here for the Flyers. You got Primo, Boucher, LeClaire. Desjardins, uh, Delmore, Craig Berube, Keith Jones, Mark Recchi. For the Penguins, you got Yager, Straka, Kasparaitis, Tugna, Annette, Kovalev. I mean, it, the star power for both these teams is just unreal. So going into the first period, it was actually pretty even. Uh, there was a lot of turnovers early for the Flyers, and they had a post on the power play pretty early as well. Uh, it, the shots were 6-1 to one for the Flyers, 8 minutes in. Gagne, Simone Gagne, he was a rookie at this time. He left early in the first period. He got slashed. He ended up coming back in the third period. Uh, and then he uh, he was on the bench. So I don't. I, he took, I believe, one or two shifts in the third. But that was like about it. Uh, a couple minutes later, Alexei Kovalev gets one here for the Penguins. one nothing. It, it went low. Uh, low blocker. Um, or It was kind of like low blocker, low pad. Uh, it was very low on the ice, kind of like a Gretzky shot uh, on Boucher here. Really nothing he could do. And before uh, this game, there was a lot of talk of Kovalev, of him not scoring a goal. He gets one here for the Penguins as one nothing. Yager, he was unreal in this game. Uh, I just I couldn't believe it. He had a lot of chances. Uh, and Kovalev had a lot of jump as well. And he, he and as I said before, he didn't have a goal before this game. So he was pretty motivated because he was getting a lot of stuff from the media. Uh, so in the second period, about four minutes in, there was a stat that came up on the on the broadcast that said the shots on goal for the series, uh, and it was up until that point, the Flyers had 131 in you know those three games and around the 24 minutes of play. It was around the 16 minute mark of the second period. 131 shots. Pittsburgh had 67. The Flyers were playing very good defensively. They were score. They they were getting so many chances. Could not score on Tugnut. He was like unreal. Also, the Flyers' power play wasn't that good. So the second period, still the Penguins, they're up one nothing. The Flyers, they're digging away. Uh, they had a lot of chances early. They were basically handed, like this game was handed on a platter for the Flyers, where they could literally just tie it with so many chances. They had a couple power plays, and they finally break through. John Leclaire gets one. It was a shot that Langkow he won the faceoff, went back Desjardins, and it, this goal actually got reviewed. It hit. Leclerc in the head and deflected in looked like it hit his stick he was kind of falling his stick was up here and it just went right down right went right on in there and the Flyers would tie the game one to one uh really after that there wasn't many calls uh guy and, and then as I said Gagne he came back around halfway through the third on the bench but he only had about one or two shifts uh the Flyers power play was one for four in regulation they couldn't really get anything going really the whole series uh but it was insanely good in the first round versus the Sabres and it was just one of the things where like they had so many so many goals versus Buffalo and couldn't really get anything against Pittsburgh. And then Keith Primo in overtime. Five overtimes. Unreal, man. It's crazy. Um, it's funny. My dad tells a story that he was in Hawaii when this happened, uh, or, or at least when the game was, was going on. It was around 8 o'clock at night when the game ended there. 
It was 2.30 in the morning when Primo got this goal. It was crazy, man. It's it's unbelievable. It's a great thing for the Flyers. And, and, and as I said, it was a very good game. Boucher, he has 57 saves. Tugnut, he had, he played unreal. He had 70 saves on 72 shots. I mean, and as, and as I brought up about the shots too, the game was so tight checking that there was a lot of puck possession, not many chances. The teams were tired. There's so many, there's so many stories about the, about the, you know, the, the both teams ordering pizza and trying to refill all the drinks. They ran out of water and everything. It was crazy. The Flyers, they pick up a two to one win in an eight period, five overtime game. Uh, remember guys, podcast articles, those links are on my channel. Hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys in the next one and goodbye.